We've got a massive day of cricket ahead of us. New Zealand need 107 to win. Pakistan, 10 wickets to send themselves through to the Test Championship final. It's all on the line today. You expect New Zealand to get home, but we just never know how these things are going to play out. I'm sure people in the chat right now are like, well, New Zealand, they've got it easy. And some people are saying, well, they just need a few wickets, Pakistan, and that's exactly what they're going to need. Early wickets, and today already the first over. New Zealand getting seven runs, so a perfect start for them. And not ideal for Pakistan to kick things off here. New Zealand just needing another 100 to win already in the opening opening sort of two overs here. Tom Blundell and Latham, they put on 150 in the opening innings. How they go here? This one swinging back, hits the pad. Empire's decision not out. Shake of the head. Edged and taken. So there's the first wicket here for Pakistan. It's Abbas getting rid of Blundell. They finally are able to get that early breakthrough they couldn't get in the first inning. So huge news there. Good catch taken too. Nice and low from Azhar Ali. And Blundell out for five. 24 for one, New Zealand. Kane Williamson, the new man in. Hasn't scored a lot in this tournament. Again, didn't have a great opening innings. Only 30-odd runs. Which has been a better performance from him, considering a lot of his other innings haven't been too grand. Seen some poor performances. Oh, through him! He is absolutely through him. Pakistan have another one. It's Afridi getting rid of Williamson, who, again, has completely misjudged this delivery. Completely misjudged the ball there. And it is his own demise. 27 for two. Pakistan get a couple quickly. Oh, now an inside edge from Abbas. Got to do his own fielding off his bowling. Latham and Taylor. Still plenty of work to do for both these teams. New Zealand 31 for two at the moment. Yep. Oh, they'll sneak through for a leg by here to finish the over. So 32 for two after 11 overs for the Kiwis. Oh, again, another inside edge, and again, Abbas needing to do his own fielding. Keeps it to one. Freedy, has he got the answers? Yep. Oh, cut away beautifully by Latham. Should be two at least. And they'll settle for two. And we saw sort of a similar thing against, uh, with Australia versus England. We saw sort of England just, uh, in that uh, group game, anyway, we saw England get off to, you know, a flyer late. Australia getting a few early wickets, but it just took one partnership. England obviously only needing to chase down, I think, 90-odd or 100 in that game as well. So just that minor partnership that you're able to put together can be the difference. That's an edge, and it's gone straight past the keeper's gloves. Brings this up to 51 for two for New Zealand. And, well, these two, they're putting on enough runs that, well, maybe it just breaks the confidence a little bit of the Pakistan bowlers. Edged. Oh, dropped. Dropped, dropped, dropped. You can't be doing things like that when so much is on the line here for Pakistan. They need to take every chance they have was short, it was cut. In the end, it was a dropped catch by Nassim Shah. Still New Zealand, 52-4-2. Two. Oh, got him this time. Didn't need to worry about the catch up. It hits the stumps. So the edge into the stumps. New Zealand, 52 for three. Pakistan, well, a little bit of confidence, but still so much work to do. Latham out for 19, Muhammad Abbas. He's been the best bowler for Pakistan throughout this uh, match. So he's got to continue that way. And they need a bit more from Yassi Shah. Didn't do a heap in the opening innings. He'll need to perform in this second innings. 77 for three. What do they need? They need 30, 40 runs New Zealand to win. 
So plenty of work for them to be doing to get themselves uh, back in the game here, Pakistan. Every single one of their bowlers got to step up, including this man, Nassim Shah. There's an outside edge. There is a wicket. So huge. Huge. Now a big wicket there for Pakistan. Gets New Zealand 80 for four. Just puts a little bit of uh, pressure back on the New Zealand batsman. There's their leading run scorer, Gorm Ross Taylor. He's out for 20, 80 for four at the moment. New Zealand, new man coming to the crease, BJ Watling. So was protected in the opening innings by uh, a couple of night watchmen and was able to finish on a not out score here coming in at, I think he came in at eighth or ninth. But uh, needs to perform today. A little bit of pressure on him. Yes, he is sharp. Henry Nichols. Yep. Oh, is there an edge there? Yes, there was. Pakistan have another one. Make that five wickets down now. All of a sudden, the pressure back on New Zealand. They've still got 35 runs to go. I know there's five wickets in hand, but... If the spin of Yassir Shah can get up and about, all of a sudden, the pressure will rise and rise. Nichols out for 16. Colin de Grontom now to the middle. So they they do have a relatively long tail, but they can be known to be inconsistent. This New Zealand tail, de Grontom. Works it away, but it's a dot. His first delivery. Oh, Watling gets that away. You feel like he should be the main contributor now. Only needing 31 to go, New Zealand. So he found the boundary there with relative ease. Moves to seven from five. Oh, there might be another wicket. Yes, there is. So that's the end of De Grontom. I don't think he put a run on the board. Nassim Shah. Geez, we've seen him pull up uh, some quality wickets before. He's even had a hat-trick already in his young career. But, gee, there's a good delivery. Just a poor shot, maybe, from uh, the batsman there. And in the end, to Grontom out for a duck. 87 for 6. New Zealand, Mitchell Santner. He's got a little task ahead of himself as well. Still 30 runs to go. Four wickets in hand. And, again, two non-set batsman at the crease that's another up ball last ball of the morning session here for New Zealand oh has it hit the pad has it hit the bat did it hit the stumps oh maybe it's not even the last ball of the session maybe I'm wrong here maybe there's still a few overs to go let's uh have a look here this was very close we're gonna see this sent upstairs with a review front foot that's fine was there any bat involved? It's hard to tell. Sort of a weird noise that it made. How does it go round the bat? Oh, jeez, you can't tell from that angle. And if it misses, if it hits the front pad, maybe it strikes him outside. But if it goes on to hit the back pad on the full, then maybe this hits just in line. This is going to be a very close review here. Front on hotspot. We didn't see anything really conclusive on the Snicko. Just nothing significant there on the hotspot either in terms of any bat involved. Maybe offside hotspot would be able to tell us more. Do we have offside hotspot? Don't think so. So we'll see this again from a front on angle. Gee, this is very, very close here, isn't it? This is going to go down to the ball tracker, I feel. Oh, gee, it's very close. Mitchell Santner, he'll be praying this is given as impact outside. Pitching outside off, impact. Umpires call, wickets smashing middle of middle. Gee, that is a lucky decision going in favour of this New Zealand side. Could have easily been given out. People will say it's rigged because I'm the umpire. <laughs> but it's not... And New Zealand, 89 for 6. Still lots of pressure on them. Watling gets some bat on that. And the keeper's able to take the catch. Pakistan have another. All of a sudden, 
The game changes again. This time Watling is the man who departs. There's still 28 runs for a New Zealand win. And all of a sudden Pakistan just need three wickets. They were 80 for four, New Zealand. They're now 89 for seven. They were 80 for three, so they've lost four for nine. Wow, what a turnaround for Pakistan here. And another big shout. Could this be two in two balls? Oh, given not out by the umpire. Will we see a review for this one. Gee, it was awfully close, wasn't it? No review used there. Jeez, yes, he's Shah starting to look dangerous. Door hits him on the pad. That's very close. And again, not out. Jeez, Pakistan. Not much going their way at the moment. You wonder if they'll send this one upstairs. They will. Question is, was it the wrong one or was it the one spinning back in? It was spinning back in. And again, it's going to be impact umpire's call. So that's a second decision. Pakistan retain the review on. But are unable to get the wicket. Now New Zealand 21 from victory. Santner and Wagner just doing a little bit. 100 up for New Zealand. 17 to go. Can these two get the job done? Oh, massive shout. Massive shout and given. Pakistan have taken eight wickets. What is going on in this game? Surely we see a review here. I can't imagine anything other than that. But no, Wagner has walked. Done. Finito. Tim Southey to the crease. Let's have a look at how this looks on the big eye, the Hawkeye replay screen. It is going to be smashing into the top of the off stump. So New Zealand, eight wickets down. What do they need to win? They need 17 to win. They've got two wickets in hand. Tim Southey on strike. Last ball of the session. Oh, it's a dot. Or maybe it's not the last ball of the session. There's probably multiple balls left in the session. Actually, there's still another over after this, I think. Unless this is the final ball of the session. This one is. And it's going to be a dot. So New Zealand... Oh, they're going to get through for a buy here. Pretty sloppy work behind the stumps. Southey's going to run two. New Zealand, 102 for 8. As we come to the close of this session, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be going into some live commentary now that I recorded while uh, the game was happening. New Zealand need 15 to win. Pakistan need two wickets. Please enjoy the frenetic finish of this matchup. So the situation is this. New Zealand need 15 runs for victory. Oh, and Pakistan need two wickets. Mitchell Santner gets an outside edge. It's going down to third man. They'll pick up two. They want the third. It's a tight one. Oh, and they just get home in the end. Tim Southey diving in at the keeper's end. It would have been close. We've seen plenty of direct hits throughout this tournament. If it was a direct hit. Gee, it might have been out. Yes, you Shah continuing. Happy to get that away, Saudi. He's off the mark. It's worth one. 11 runs to go. You can see that scorecard there. Lots of wickets tumbling. Four for 80 at one point, New Zealand. Now eight for 106. Oh, my goodness. An inside edge might have saved another wicket. A spot in the Test Championship Finals on the line. It's just 11 runs for New Zealand, two wickets for Pakistan. This game has had plenty of ups and downs. And on the fifth and final day's play, we are no closer to realizing who is going to take their spot in the Test Championship Finals. Yes, he's Shah well today. Yep. Two for 19, make that two for 20. There's one more run to the total. 10 for New Zealand to win. 36 overs gone, 107 for eight. Muhammad Abbas at the other end. He's been brilliant. Three for 24 from eight overs. Waiting. Especially with the lack of bounce we've seen on this wicket. 
Pakistan every chance. Yep. Oh, he's got it through. They brought the mid on up. Now there was a gap created and Santana took advantage. Looks to pick up three runs here. See how they will turn. They'll come back. Yes, they will. They'll get four runs here. New Zealand need six to win. It's one shot to win them the game. Will Santner decide to take it on? Still no mid on. Three slips and a gully. Yep. Goes through mid wicket. It's going to be one. Retains the strike, Mitchell Santner. Five for New Zealand to win. Gee, they've taken the spinner off. Interesting move. Afridi now with an opportunity. Easy single for Santner on the onside. If he wants it. It's full and outside off. It'll be a dot. Plenty of offside coverage here for Pakistan. They don't want to bowl it too straight. He's setting that easy runs. Yeah, you can see big gaps. Just the wide mid on and the deep fine leg. Edged and taken. Oh, my goodness. Afridi the bowling change. Afridi the wicket. We have one wicket to go for New Zealand. Mitchell Santner departs with an edge. Oh boy. He's out for 15. 112 for 9. The tension could not be higher here at Eden Park as Trent Bolt strolls out to the middle. New Zealand 5 runs to win. Pakistan 1 wicket. Oh, oh my goodness. It was close. Oh dear. A place in the Test Championship Finals on the line. New Zealand, 4 for 80. Oh, there's an edge. It doesn't go through. And they run a single. 4 to win. Oh, they were 4 for 80. Chasing 117. They now have one wicket in hand. Everyone around the field now. It's a no ball. Gee, that's a costly run. Three more to go for New Zealand. If it is a tie, New Zealand will go through to the Test Championship Finals. There's an edge that's off a full toss, so it hits the ground after the outside edge. Do you tell you what, they wouldn't want to get an edge and it just to roll through to third man here. That's pretty close to a Y, but it's at odd. 114 for nine, three to win. Two to tie, and a wicket for Pakistan to go through. Yassir Shah changes ends now. He's got Trent Bolt on strike. Every fielder around the bat at the moment. No one in close though, everyone saving one. That's straight through to cover. Gee, this is the tensest moment in the entirety of this tournament right now. Yassir Shah, he's won the game for Pakistan in this situation before. Oh, that did not bounce at all. But he won it against, uh, who was it, Bangladesh. They got home by four runs there. They're currently two runs ahead. Bolt taps it to the onside. Another dot. Even up here in the commentary box, no idea what's going to happen next. Three more runs for New Zealand. There's another dot. Why is the shot? Do you choose to go for it? There's no one around the bat. Do you try and drop and run a quick single? What are the thoughts going through Trent Bolt's head at the moment? One ball left in the Yassir Shah over. Five dots we've seen. And it's a maiden. 114 for nine. Freedy to Saudi. Is this the matchup? Oh, gee, it was full and Saudi will feel like he missed out there. A real juicy full toss. Had maybe an opportunity to put it away. I'm trying to think. Behind square on the onside. Might be a shot. Or if you can get it between cover and point. Maybe. There's an opportunity there. Three balls left the over. Maybe you drop and run. Oh, there's an edge. It doesn't go onto the stumps. It rolls along the ground. Or is one. Another dot ball. And that's another no ball. Oh, you can't be bowling that. You just can't, Afridi. There is one run in it between a New Zealand victory 
And Pakistan going through. Oh, it's off the pad into the glove. If Pakistan get a wicket here, they're through. One run or greater for New Zealand will see them qualify. Straight back to deep mid on. End of the over, 115 for nine. We reset and go again. Yassir Shah to Trent Bolt. New Zealand, one run to tie the game. Pakistan one wicket. One run would be enough to see them qualify. A tie would see New Zealand through to the Test Championship semi-finals. To the finals, actually, not the semis. This is the semis. We're with you here for every single delivery until the end. Oh, it's through him. How is that missed? Somehow misses the bats, somehow misses the stumps. Waiting. Not through again. Another up ball. Yassir Shah, what else does he have up his sleeve? Wait. Another dot ball. No one willing to be adventurous here for New Zealand. Bolt one from 12, Southie one from 18. They've had two freebie runs from a freedy no balls. That's the full toss you look for. Oh, Trent Bolt put it away. Put that away, son. Win New Zealand the game. Last ball, the over. Waiting. Another dot, maiden over, 115 for nine. Tell you what he didn't do that over there, Freedy. You can see only one delivery would have gone on to hit the stumps. Got to get more of those tracking on middle, especially with the way this pitch is playing. If it keeps low and hits the pad, can win you the game. It's a full toss. This is everything. Oh my goodness, how did that get through? How on earth did that get through? Oh my god, again, it's close. The batsman doesn't know what's going on. The bowler's steaming in. Is this the delivery that wins the test match for either side? A freedy to Southie. Oh, it's another edge that rolls through. Just neither side giving an inch. Nobody wants to lose the test. And that one tracking on and Tim Southey keeps it out. It's a game of millimetres here. Any score for New Zealand. Does it. Southey gets it away to the onside. It's going to be four. New Zealand are through to the test championship finals. Or well, the final with a remarkable one wicket victory over Pakistan here. You would not read about it. Let's have a look here. At those wickets, Ross Taylor, then Henry Nichols. And the beginning of the end for New Zealand here. And BJ Watling gets this one away. Made a few crucial runs during a difficult period. Colin de Grandhomme edging through before Watling. Edging onto his pad. Rizwan spectacular. And then Wagner was the next to go. Hitting the top of off there in this LBW decision. New Zealand eight down. Mitchell Santner then edging through to the keeper before Tim Southey got one away off the hip. Found the gap on the onside. And New Zealand are through to the Test Championship final. What a remarkable game of Test Match cricket here at Eden Park. New Zealand through to the final. They'll host the final here at Eden Park, regardless of who qualifies from the uh, the other semi-final between Australia and Sri Lanka. New Zealand into the final with a one-wicket win over Pakistan. What a game of cricket we witnessed here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And until next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye.